Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around event driven auto scaling on Kubernetes. This is your last use case of how to build your auto scaling capability and architecture based on Kubernetes and Keda and Knative integration for Kafka messaging infrastructure. Let's get started. If you haven't watched the first and second and third video, I encourage you all to watch in that video first because it will be very helpful to understand how to design auto scaling architecture with the Kubernetes based on HPA, Ryzen to Pod Auto Scaler, to Keda and Knib for serverless application. And if you already watched a third video specifically, maybe you, you might have a, uh, this kind of question. How about evangelical serverless auto scaling? Because in third video, you can scale up the serverless application based on Kafka messaging driven, but uh, there is only one scale out for Kafka source and uh, actual application on Quarkus. There's no more scalability like a 1 to 10 or 1 to 100. This is the last video how to deal with evangelical auto scaling for serverless application. The answer is integrate Keda with the Knative. So Keda can be used to auto scale Knative eventing infrastructure such as Knative eventing sources and channel. In the end, you can see uh, Keda will auto scale Knative source itself as well as the Knative auto scaler will auto scale your actual application, which is not happening in third video. This is just still sandbox project into Red Hat OpenShift to serverless capability in the next few months. So in the end, the Keda could be potentially used to scale kind of services itself rather than you know, eventing sources or channel. This is how to recon redesign for auto scaling capability for event-driven serverless application. So you can see the Keda will scrap the metrics from Kafka topic and decide when Kafka sources need to be scaled out as well as the actual application based on running on Canyon service will be scaled out too. Okay, let's get right into the demo how it works. So here's my project, Kafka dash Keda dash K native. So I already installed AMK streams operator, which allows to have a Kafka cluster and Kafka topics. You can see uh, there are Kafka, the JuKeeper for HA and a Kafka cluster already running on uh, with the three pods. And then here's my same Quarkus application to consume uh, Knative eventing based on cloud event. So if you watch the third video, uh, you can maybe understand uh, why I need to rewrite this application for consuming cloud events based on Quarkus application. So pretty simple, just uh, Consume the cloud event and then to print out the dummy messaging here. So here's a few configuration to deploy this application to OpenShift cluster uh, for KNM services. So you can see the exact same name of the namespace, Kafka dash K dash K native. And then we're going to deploy target K native, which allows me uh, to deploy this application as a KNM services. But in the first demo, we actually use OpenShift. But this is a different thing, how to deploy the application to KNM service. And then we're going to use the Docker build strategy to build this application as a container. And here's a few more KNM configuration. This is actually uh, added annotation on our KNM service pod, which allows KDA uh, uh, will auto scaling uh, this computation. You can actually alternatively create a YAML file to deploy application with the enable KDA and KNIB integration. Okay, I'm going to change my project to the right place K Kafka KDA in Knative. And then I'm going to use Quarkus DLI to build this application. When you return the Quarkus build, just skipping unit task. First of all, uh, you're going to package the application as a fresh jar. And then once you uh, packaging application, and then we're gonna packaging containerize this application based on Docker file, which is already existing in our Quarkus project. So when you uh, scale for new Quarkus project from uh, Quarkus.io or the Maven command line or Quarkus CLI, the, a few Docker files are automatically edited in your project for JVM or name comparison. 
But once you read done and you go back to OpenShift Developer Console, you can see you can even service it. It's just starting. And then when you go to uh, Quarks Runtime Bureau, so you can find just the application running on JVM with the specific Quarks version 2.8, which is race one. Okay, so I'm gonna, I needed to uh, uh, create a Kafka source for Knave and Keda integration. So this is a main different thing with the existing and previous demo for when you create a Kafka source with the YAML file. You can see there are annotation to integration Keda and Knative. So that annotation makes Keda uh, will detect in the, in the end on a scale Kafka source itself. Just like we edited uh, annotation in application properly for auto scaling in Quarkus D. Okay. And then here is the, uh, the sync compilation and topic compilation, which is my topic, and then the sync, which is the same name of the Quarkus deployment name. Okay, I'm going to open import YAML editor and then just create. And then when you go back to top logic view, you can see automatically Kafka source attach it to your uh, serverless application. In the meantime, uh, before this application scale down to zero, I'm going to add the label to showcase this uh, pod as Quarkus application. You can also change the KNM service as a function icon, which uh, makes it more explicitly uh, this application as a function, just like a serverless with the boss awesome dev function annotation. Okay, looks good. So when you try to find the scale object, you can see the scale object automatically created based on the Quarkus computation in the application property file. So which is I actually create the scale object in the second demo to enable Keda capability. But in this case, the Quarkus luckily provide the computation which allows developer to add and create scaled object automatically, which is really good. Okay, so back to the top logic view. Now I'm gonna uh, try to uh, add uh, the processor uh, for the job. Now we're gonna use the same Kafka processor performance test batch script, which he create a five different part and each part will generate the, the thousand size record and then it will send a uh, million uh, messaging to Kafka topic. I just create it and then it will uh, create a different file part and each part will create a million messages to uh, and then send it to Kafka topic. So when you go to logs, you can find the new uh, record to send to Kafka topic and it will be consuming uh, serverless application through Kafka source. So, but here is a really awesome thing. You can see the 10 Quarkus application already uh, scaled out, which is super fast than uh, just try to use Keda or uh, Knative. And when you go to pod and let's try to uh, type in Kafka source and you can find the Kafka source pod also automatically scale out based on the tons of event messaging from Kafka topic, which is totally different or scaling than uh, when I just try to use a Knative alone. All right, and then so you can see the app actual application already scaled out to 10 to consume and process the event messaging, and also Kafka also. Uh, scale out to 10. But here's the interesting part for you. It uh, flexibly and dynamically scale down and scale up uh, based on the, uh, the utilization of Kafka messaging from Kafka first. It's a totally, uh, in the end, uh, save your cost on your infrastructure layer. So let's uh, give us a moment uh, to complete the project's job. And then when you go back to uh, slide the deck. I'm going to summarize and give you some more information about KNAV integration sandbox project. You can see you can also use your AWS SQS source and the Redis stream source and the RabbitMQ broker as a Red Kafka source for the integration. So here's a quick example how to add that kind of source 
with the annotation on your YAML file. And then here's the four takeaways for all series of this demo video. Uh, we have a full demo video, how to build auto scaling for evangel driven application on Kubernetes from try to use HPA itself and then uh, Keta and the Knative and then Knative and Keta integration. So the four takeaways, first of all, Keta query auto scale standard Kubernetes resources and it's super simple. And the Keta uh, wants to use a pool model to scrape all metrics for external services, for example, Kafka source. And the Knative has its own or a scalar and a pushy model to trigger your actual application scale of zero to one, then you can actually rewrite or consuming kind of eventing messaging into Knative infrastructure. But once again, uh, Red Hat is working on productizing this great feature into OpenShift Sublet in the next few months. Okay, let's go back to developer console. You can see the Kafka process job are completed. And then it could be there's no more event messaging from Kafka topic through Kafka source into Quarkus' serverless function. That's why you can see uh, the Quarkus function already scaled down to zero, which is just like a serverless behavior. So click on detail, so you, your application scaled to down to zero. Of this series of uh, all the scaling video have uh, you to understand how to build or the scaling for event-driven application on top of the Kubernetes. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.